if I get a dick pic from someone, I'm like, oh God, no, I didn't want to see that. Now when I'm more grown up, because I'm 25 years old, uh, I've, only <laughs> <laughs> I've only used Tinder. And I used it because of convenience, because I seem like, I know I have never really, I've never been in a long-term relationship. And that kind of freaks me out sometimes, so. So Tinder is your way to cope with that. Exactly, <laughs> basically, and to make me feel a bit more normal, to be like, okay, um, you know, I'm texting You're doing someone. What I'm acting. Is, is expecting from you? hundred percent. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh, like, for me, being gay, it's, it's just, just like, more of a convenient way to meet people because I could also just walk on the street and ask like every random girl that I think is really pretty if you want to go have a coffee but I would expect a lot of turndowns. <laughs> find people who are just looking for a photography models where you find people who are like just looking for friends and you have like the whole this whole section of like couples looking for unicorns which personally really annoys me because if I if I like swipe for girls you have this pretty girl and then it's like on the fourth picture it's like oh actually it's me and my boyfriend so I, I've seen some of that like it's usually the guy looking for, for a, third. a third person to I've only seen like people wanting S&M partners the last Tinder date I was on during the date um yeah we met up for drinks mm -hmm. um he yeah, kissed me good. oh yeah. that's, that's romantic so yeah so we got to his place and it was pretty clear he just really wanted to make out and do everything. I didn't realize it until I was in that moment, but then I thought, you know what, fuck it, let's just, let's just get it over with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, so yeah. I didn't have any illusions of what would happen after that. Yeah. Like, did he ever like contact you again? Would you have wanted uh, that? Did you actually like him as a person? I liked him as a person, but yeah, but after that date, I didn't hear back from him. No. And I decided, you know, I'm too busy anyway. So. Nice. How was your last uh, Tinder date that you had? Great guy, by all means. Uh, he was really actually very inventive. He, we went on two painting class together, first wow. date. Yeah. And then a third date was supposed to be uh, rock climbing, but he was definitely looking for something serious mm -hmm. and the chemistry was just not there. Yeah. So instead of going on a third date, I did it in a bad way. I kind of just ghosted out. Oh, Aww. no. Yeah. What do you think about like ghosting? You I know think it's I mean? so much better to be honest, but I'm too much of a wuss to do it sometimes. Yeah, so sometimes you, know? you just don't do it. It's so easy to not do it, especially on social media and especially on that dating. Because you, you don't, don't have to, f you don't, don't have to fear any consequences. Exactly. Like, it's stuff like you would never do, and you would never do in real life. It's also what makes net dating as you know so artificial. Yeah. In a way it is because it's not really human interaction. It's it's very fake in a sense. Yeah, and it has a whole like but different set of rules. It's and yeah. easy. So when it comes to like nudes. Have you have you taken nude photos and sent it? Well, I would personally I wouldn't do it unless I was in a committed relationship. I I, I honestly do it a bit too like quite quickly into because I would know which is kind of weird because it is a very risky move to do especially yeah, you're giving, if you want you're giving away your yeah, part of yeah. your sexuality yeah. who you are you do you, and do. you don't know where it'll end up and you don't know where it'll end up but I oh I've done it on Snapchat mm -hmm. but you can save them <laughs> exactly yeah. you can save them but then you will know if you save them. She got a lot of backlash for it just because she was posing nude and I think at the time she also just gave birth so there's that context to consider too. I thought it was empowering and liberating for her as a woman. I don't even like her as a person but I thought that very act in itself was was taking a stand against women being seen as just merely sexual objects but also as vessels for putting humanity forward just through the very act of pregnancy and giving birth and there's more to her than just being the celebrity. She's also a mother and our body should be celebrated. Mm -hmm. You know, I j judge girls that post maybe too explicit photos that show too much, or girls that post pictures that are just like outrageous on Facebook. This just vicious circle that keeps going, and I really would love to break out of it, but that's the hard part of it, right? I do feel like that's a possibility that queer spaces actually have. In a way, you're always against conformity or values mm -hmm. or at the stream, mm -hmm. just per se by being queer in a certain sense, looking over what, what is just like has been a great as as well, it's how we have to behave, how we have to look like. You reflect about it. You spend so much time figuring out yourself. You look at it from a different perspective and a less a less perspective shaped by, by gender and by the values and the beliefs and the looks and grade. You can have a different sexuality every day on the internet depending on the platform you go on. So you think it would be easier for you to come out? Yes, for young yeah, I would definitely say because it it so much depends on, on the role models you have and how you identify it. And also yeah. like where you grew up, like me, I was growing up in like a, a small town, like my idea of lesbians were like those really 
butch, short, dark hair women that are really aggressive, kind of like pit bulls. That's yeah. what I thought what <laughs> lesbians were. So me, upon realizing that I'm gay, I was really, I was terrified. Yeah. Because I, I was like, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to be those women, and I don't really like those women. Yeah. So, but then again, because I didn't have that many role models to turn to, and like if you transfer it to nowadays with all those platforms and. and I think that's a big strength of internet yeah. right now. Like yeah. a part of a movement or, you know. It's still like a very cluttered place, like feminism mm. online. But isn't mm. it better to have a plurality of opinions and to have that instead of not having it? To have a forum yeah, where you can discuss. Yeah, definitely have a possibility. Yeah. Mm. But I think like women today are still in a suppressed, you know, position in society. And I think internet can be, can be work as a tool to see the negative effects it can have. It's this evolving thing that I see. I see. It's not a monolithic single entity where it's defined by these terms only. It's and feminism. It's a very personal thing. The way that you perceive that the the movement. Um, it, I feel like those communities online, like on Facebook, I follow a lot of them. I read through the comment section, not not to comment necessarily, just to see what other people's views are and to see mm -hmm. what where the conversation is headed. And also what know. the views are based on. Kind of right. like the reasons, the background, why they mm. think it that way. Yeah, and then just thinking to myself, like, wait, why do they think that way? You know, where are they coming from? And the context of where they grew up also shapes like their attitudes toward feminism as well. Asexual, pansexual. So oh, many new words yeah, for no, it. So many new words, there's so many new ways to identify yourself. There's you pretty much can choose from whatever, from whatever you want mm. nowadays. Mm. Even on Facebook, you know, you can choose between when you can list your what you're interested in or your orientation, and it's something we should just foster and keep going. Yeah, I agree. Like the more language that we have to express ourselves, the better. I think yeah. we can but I think it also has to come with the need to not have to confirm to any of those. Just because you have a plurality of options, still has to come with your own choice. Maybe you don't want to choose any of that at all. To not having to label or identify yourself or no. your sexuality. So that's something that I would really like to see. Sexual race that you just define, but who you are as a person, the multitude of traits that. that you that your sexuality doesn't matter in who you like. So your sexuality yeah. is just who you are. Or it's part of all of like yeah. so that's like people of all of care. The different components mm. or yeah. the end of the day you're still a person. Mm. Cool.